Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Morgan Stanley analysts are resuming coverage of Kraft Foods with an overweight rating and a $32 price target, which assumes that Kraft can trade at the average of the peer group on 2012 earnings estimates. Analysts Vincent Andrews and Jacqueline Inglesby said, quote, Kraft has materially underperformed its packaged food peers since its final offer for Cadbury. Kraft is down four-tenths of a percent versus its peers, which are up approximately 5 percent in the S&P 500 index, which is up 1.2 percent, and now trades at the low end of the group. Kraft is 11.3 times 2012 earnings versus its peers at 13.2 times. We believe Kraft's performance and valuation more than reflect the low return on invested capital on the Cadbury acquisition, i.e. will not exceed WACC or weighted average cost of capital until 2012, despite consolidation as of February 2010. The integration risks ahead and likely continued weak growth at Heritage Graft. At current levels, we see limited downside versus a greater likelihood of an approximate 15% total return by year end. Morgan Stanley sees fiscal 2010 EPS of $2.11, and that's versus consensus estimates of $2.07 per share, and fiscal 2011 EPS of $2.35 versus consensus estimates of $2.33 per share. I'm Chrissy Duffy for Smart Trend News. For more news updates throughout the day, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Trade the Trend. You can also find this news story and much more market analysis on our website, and that's www.tradethetrend.com.